Hello, my name is Renee, and this is going to be a reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If this reading resonates with you, please like and subscribe. I'd love to have you as part of my tribe. Alright, and how you doing, Lisa? Happy birthday. It's Libra season. Okay. Spirit, guides, and angels, what message do we have today for Libra? What message do we have for Libra, please? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Justice. Yeah, of course you have to show up for your reading. Justice card. The first card out, Libra, is Justice. Okay, and we also have the Eight of Pentacles. What are you working hard on, Libra? Six of Pentacles. Yeah, you got money on your mind. <laughs> That's all about being a Libra, right? Yeah, Libra's really calculating that money. All right. What do we have for Libra, please? The Two of Swords. The Queen. And the Six of Wands. I was wondering when that was going to pop out. The Six of Wands. And then you're being noticed, Libra. Okay, I see you. The Seven of Swords. And Temperance. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck we have the world. Okay, Libra. Let's get into this. Okay, at the bottom of the deck you have the world. You're actually coming to a completion of a life cycle. And you're starting a new beginning. And I see that you've been mastering something. You're almost at the end of that. Of course you're showing up. I believe this energy is you showing up for this reading. This is true Libra, true Libra style, showing up for your reading. This could also be karma coming your way. Do good to others as they do unto you. Good karma will flow. Okay, and you have the Six of Pentacles. 
Now, normally the Six of Pentacles is, well, this still has the scales, which is also apparent in the Justice card. So, yeah, I believe if, if it is karma, this is very balanced. The karma may be coming in your favor. This also could be that you will be receiving, and maybe you'll be receiving a really nice gift for your birthday. Of course, that would be nice, right? Happy birthday, Libra. You may be in a position to give as well with these skills that you're mastering. I believe that there's choices that you're taking to become more stable and you're actually being recognized for that. You're actually finding a lot of success. See this soldier, he's coming back from battle and they're all looking and cheering him on. He's being well recognized, he's being celebrated. And of course it's your birthday month, of course you're going to be celebrated. But I think this is your success Libra. You also have the magician, so you have all the skills and all the talents. You have all the focused creativity of turning your visions into reality. The magician is the energy as above, so below. So as you think of these things, these intentions, you're actually you can actually bring those down from heaven down to down into your reality so as above so below you have all the skills all the power that you need to manifest to um, create what you want create the life that you want to live you have all the abilities I also see the Seven of Swords. You may also want to be aware of someone being sneaky. Someone's kind of doing something behind your back. I feel that this could also be gossip. Someone's talking about you, Libra. Yeah, someone's talking about you. So be beware of that energy. And here in the bottom corner, you have the temperance. Actually, a lot of arcanas have been coming out lately. I think in the last reading I had, um, there were like seven major arcana in the reading. And why you have one? Two, three, four. You have four. Okay. Okay, yeah. But yeah, you also have the temperance. So I think that you're finding balance. You're, you have the success right above it. And I actually think that you're kind of basking in that, that energy. You're kind of taking it all in. You're feeling balanced. You're in harmony with yourself. This is, this is your month and you're going to take it as such. You're going to run this month till the wheels fall off. That's why I leave that. Okay. Okay, let's clarify a little bit, please. The Eight of Pentacles paired with the set, the Five of Wands. Um, it 
this is at work energy. It could be that you're kind of got into a conflict at work. It could be that you're you're in com competition. Are you in sales? If you're in sales, you're in competition a lot at work. Can I have a message for the Two of Swords, please? The Eight of Pentacles again. Okay. Okay. So, this is choices that you need to make at work. What are you working on? It may be that you need to compromise. You need to compromise for something. You need to take off that blindfold and see things for what they truly are. I finally make the decision. If this is with work or something that you're working on, you need to make the, the decision and run with it. Can I have a message for the magician, please? The Queen of Wands. Okay, yeah. She's actual, actually very intuitive, very attractive. Um, assertive. Yeah, you have all the all the gifts and the talents you need. Be assertive. Take the risk. Have confidence in, in yourself. This one's for you. Yeah, karma. This karma is going to come pretty quickly. This is fast moving energy. It's coming with swiftness. You may receive a message. Maybe one that you're not really. I think it's going to be coming out of surprise. With the Ten of Pentacles, excuse me, with the Queen of Pentacles, you have the Nine of Wands. Yeah. You're looking for stability in, in this situation, and I think that you need to stand on that. You need to keep moving forward and push forward. You're almost at the finish line. Keep pushing ahead. With the Seven of Swords, you have the Nine of Cups. So even though someone may be gossiping about you, I believe that you you are sitting here like, what the hell, whatever. You, you're not even letting that bother you. You're like, whatever. But this is also a wish card, so make your wish. Make your wish for your birthday season. But yeah, I don't think they're going to go any further with any gossip or any sneakiness. Because you're sitting there like, please, try me. Okay, and with the Six of Pentacles, you have the Death and the Knight of Swords. Okay, now the Death card and the Knight of Swords, the Death is an ending to something. I feel with with this and did you lend somebody some money I'm feeling like you lent someone some money and they haven't repaid you back yet and now you're like I'm done and over with this is done they're, they're never gonna come to me again um, it's over with and the knight of swords You're ready to just move on from the situation because you've got that clarity that this person is not going to pay you your money. Yeah, and that's a shame. I think that that's a friendship ended. And can I have clarification for the Six of Wands, please? The Three of Wands. 
Yeah, the Three of Wands. This is expansion. So you're certainly growing. Um, with the Six of Wands, you have success, recognition. You're pushing forward. You are being recognized for your efforts, and you're just all that. And the Three of Three of Wands. I think you're just pushing that forward a bit more. You're expanding, you're progressing. You're building on to that success. I have a card. Can you clarify temperance for any? Can I get a clarifying message for temperance? The Empress. Okay, but look at this, in the bottom row you have the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and the Empress. Really beautiful. So you're actually, you're beautiful, Libra. This energy is just, you're kind of glowing. You're... This is a period for you to be fruitful. Um, maybe you're expecting, but I feel that that may be a, only a message for a very small amount of you. Um, I feel that right now you're at a very, very attractive time of your life. It's also with the Empress next to the Nine of Cups. This is also a very abundant time. You're actually really content with yourself. Um, you're content with your lifestyle. And I think that you're just overall fruitful. You're fruitful right now. You... And then with the Magician there too, look at this, the Magician, the Nine of Cups, the Empress, the Ten of Wands, I mean the, the Queen of Wands, she's very intuitive as well, she's able to, she's able to manifest as well. Yeah, I think you're very fruitful at this moment. If anything else this is really a great time for you to manifest what it is that you want okay I think I'm gonna pick one more card for you because I'm kind of feeling it I'm feeling one more card the devil okay then you have strength on the bottom okay 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 I feel like in this month, in your month, the month of Libra, I feel like this is saying don't let anybody get you down. Don't let anybody drag out or make you do things that aren't you. You're very strong. You're very strong dependable I say with anything else if someone comes to you wrong have some respect for yourself excuse me for saying that have some respect for yourself and treat yourself the same way you would want to treat others. Don't let somebody put you in a situation that is not where you're supposed to be. Okay, well, I know that kind of veered left at the end. So, I apologize, Libra. And I'm going to go ahead and take one of these cards because these are... 
new and I'm trying to work with them. So bear with me because as I said, this deck is new and it's actually the Modern Witch Oracle. And it has, they have beautiful, beautiful um, illustrations. Okay, can I have a card for Libra? To go ahead and end this reading. May I have a card for Libra, please? All right. Oh, okay. It says cleansing baths, cleansing your body and spirit, and earth magic. Okay, now see, now this is the same energy as the magician. So you actually have the magician twice. And cleansing your body and spirit. I think this is more along the lines of the Four of Swords. So I think this is saying that obviously you you have all the powers and the capabilities to do anything that you want right now. But I think that you need to show yourself a little pampering. Take care of your needs. Let let others take care of their own needs at the moment. Focus on you. Yeah, at the bottom of the deck, we have strength and resilience. So yeah. All right, Libra. Well, again, happy birthday. And if this message resonated with you, please like and subscribe. I love to have you in my tribe. And I will see you on the next reading. Many blessings. Love and light.